Hello everyone, this is Khalil from NCS Training Center and let me uh, introduce myself first. So uh, we are training center located in Toronto, Canada. It's called NCS Training and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central Training. And one of the courses that uh, uh, is very important to Business Central is the Financial Essentials course. And in this course, you know, there are lots of topics involved in this course, like, for example, the role centers and the finance master data and uh, boosting, for example, uh, purchase invoices, sales invoices, how we create a GL account, the difference between income statement accounts and balance sheet accounts. So all of these are addressed in this course. But today we are going to discuss uh, a topic that was requested from me a lot, which is the deferrals, how we can use deferrals. I have all of this documented, you know, and the difference, uh, the different uh, deferral methods that we use, either straight line and or equals per periods, or you know, th there's different deferral me methods. But today I'm gonna show you an example of very important example of how we use the deferral. So. This is what we are going to discuss today. So using deferral, first of all, we have to create a deferral template. This is the first step always. Let me zoom this one a little bit here so you can see better. So always when you want to use deferrals in purchase invoices or in any document, you have to start with creating the deferral template. So you see here the deferral template, you start creating it from the deferral template card. And if you go to Kronos, you know, of course, you will not see a deferral template. You have to create it yourself. There's no one defined in Kronos. So I have to create a deferral template card to start working on it. So to create a deferral template card, you have to go to deferral template use the search I will show you this on the application after some time but if you use the search and search for deferral template you will be able to create new deferral template cards so the first thing you have to assign a code which you use for example 12 months and you have to assign description any description you want any code you want and you have to create a deferral account. This deferral account here, it's very important. You have to create one for deferral and it's supposed to be a balance sheet account. You know, for example, I created here in this example and I'm gonna show you this as well in the application after a few minutes. So the deferral accounts, I created deferral account 2331 and it's a balance sheet account. What else do we need to do? Deferral percentage. So here I put 100% for the deferral percentage, but it can be anything actually. You can defer 100% uh, or 60% or any percentage that you want or 50%. Some companies, they want to use the deferral, not 100%, few companies, they do that. So, you know, you can put any percentage here you want. And the calculation method, there is different, there are different calculations methods that you can use, either st a straight line. I, I documented all these in my document here. You can use straight line or equal bear, bear periods or days bear period, etc. So here I'm using the straight line calculation method. And the start date, I can change it also. I put here also the beginning of next period. And the number of periods, it's supposed to equal the number of accounting periods that you have. Also, most of the companies, they have 12 months. 
Uh, so you put here 12 and the period description you can put any text you want it does not have to be the exact word month you can this is a free text that you can put here okay so i created the deferral template after that what do i do after, the next step will be to assign this deferral template to your gl account that you want to defer for example here in this example here i used account 8150 the building insurance and i assigned the deferral template the default deferral template uh, the template that i created in the previous step so here i have the 12 months uh, deferral template as the default deferral template in my j account and the step after now when you create a purchase invoice if you create a purchase invoice here for example i'm creating a new purchase invoice i put the vendor number or the vendor name and i put the posting date and the vendor invoice number i put the account that i mentioned 8150 and i put the amount and the result will be if you click here on deferral schedule you will see the result. So the result, you know the amount that you put in the purchase invoice, it will be deferred automatically, you know, to different, different, to the 12 period. Now you will see when you do this, that the amounts are always equal each other, except the last amount, because of rounding issue, it will be a little bit different so that's it i'm gonna show you this in the application now so as i mentioned the first step is you go to deferral template this is the deferral template and this is the deferral template that i created the 12 months one you see, this is the 12 months month. And I created this deferral account. And I put here the calculation method straight line. I, I could have changed it, as I mentioned before, that to any other calculation method, equal per period or days per period or user defined, where the user has to put the deferred amount every time. So, you know, and I want to defer 100% of the amount that I will use in the virtual invoice. And I want the start date to be the beginning of next period. I don't want it to be the posting date. I want it to be the beginning of next period. You know? And here I put 12 months. Okay, this is the first step here in the application. Now, the second step is uh, what account I use in my example here. I'm going to show you this here. I used in my example here, if I go to finance and chart of accounts, I can show you the account that I use, which is 0150. If I open this account, you see here, I use the default deferral template, the 12 months that I created. After that, the last step would be to create a purchase invoice, for example. So if I search again for purchase invoices, This is the purchase invoice that I created. I will change the sorting to be descending, which should be the last one. This is the last invoice. Okay, this is the purchase invoice and this is the GL account that I, I attached to the deferral template that I used. And I bought an amount also. This is the amount, the direct unit cost excluding taxes. Now, what happens uh, when I post, I don't have to post directly. I can just preview posting. I can preview posting and I will see here that I have 
28 entries. So let's have a look at these entries. 